Hi guys, it's your boy Namco4 with another video on the Samsung Galaxy S2. What I'm going to do is show you in this video how to install the newly leaked uh, Samsung Galaxy S2 firmware with the uh, ice cream sandwich for Android uh, 4.0.3. Okay, this is uh, just recently been leaked um, and it's uh, meant to be a lot smoother than some of Samsung's previous attempts. So, um, as it's uh, seems a lot smoother Samsung may be releasing it officially soon but this is the leaked version so uh, I've seen some um, questions and comments on how to actually get this installed so this video is for you guys who want to have a play I will put a link in the description on uh, how you can how and where to download it from um, it's gonna be just one zip file with a password on it I'll put that in the description down below but uh, on my current phone I've got if I just show you uh, if I go to the settings, uh, it's my best ROM that I prefer is, if I just zoom in there, whoa, Android 2.3.6, and that's gingerbread. Okay, so I'm just going to switch the phone off because uh, we're done. Um, if you don't want to lose anything, do an Android backup of the phone. Um, store it, put it on your SD card or whatever out of the way. Um, check out uh, another one of my videos on how to do an Android backup. I'll put a link in the description for that as well. Okay, so that's now off. We want to put this in download mode. So that's volume down, power and home button together simultaneously until we get to the, there we go, a custom ROM OS can cause critical critical problems in phone and installed applications. Blah, blah, blah. We want to continue, so we press volume up. There you go. So that's in download mode. What we want to do at this point is just plug this into our computer. Okay, so just get the USB lead. Just plug that in. Okay, so we'll leave that there and uh, we'll move over. We'll just move over to the PC. I've got the, the folder with the files in here in the middle of the screen. It's called, um, just renamed it ICS Leak. Um, just going into it, if I go into the folder, uh, once you download the zip file, as I say, I'll put a link in the, in the description on where you can download it from, and you'll get three files. Uh, one beginning by GTI 9100 um, and then multi CSC, one going I9100 underscore code and one modem. Okay, so keep those on your desktop for the time being just for easy access. Just leave that one there. And what you want to do is load up Odin. Again, I'll put a link in the description on where you can download this from as well. Okay, I'll just minimize that one there in the background. Okay. Uh, on the Odin window, um, you can see that the first box there, COM port 6, is yellow. I'm just signaling that the phone is connected, okay. First things first, you want to make sure that the auto reboot and the reset time are both ticked. All other boxes in this section should not be ticked. They should be left blank. Okay, next thing that we want to do is uh, we'll tick PDA on the right hand side here. Um, and then we na navigate to the folder where we just downloaded the files from so we'll just go to the desktop uh, and then to the folder uh, which is here it is brilliant uh, and under PDA you need to select next thing you need to do is tick the phone tab hit phone and then select the m file beginning with modem hit open finally last thing you need to do is hit where it says next to CSC and then press the CSC button and then you need to select the file which says GT-I9100-multi-CSC. Select it, hit open. After you've selected CSC, that's it. Um, as I mentioned uh, previously, just make sure auto reboot and reset time are the only ones ticked on the left hand side options box here. All other tick boxes should be remain cleared, so empty. So once you've done that, hit start. And you should see on the phone that it starts to download as well. You can see it's doing the download on the phone. I should say at this point I don't take any responsibility that uh, with anything going incorrect on the phone or the phone not working thereafter. You're doing this at your own risk. And Samsung or anybody else for that matter won't uh, take a responsibility either. It's your device you can do as you wish. 
This video is purely for information purposes. That almost sounded quite professional then. You can see it's doing the install. It's coming to the end on the phone as well. See the green pass? That's finished. You can see the phone's rebooted and turned itself off there. Okay, as we're done, because that's a green pass now, um, we no longer need the computer, so I'm just going to close down Audin and remove uh, the phone from the computer. We'll just go back to the phone. This may take uh, maybe a minute or so as it gets to here, but the phone will vibrate slightly, uh, so just be patient. There you go, the phone kind of vibrated there a little bit. I'll just bring that in so you can see that. It says installing applications. That's the pin code for my SIM. Just put that in. Ah, had to press the home button there, but there we go. Ah, there we go. So, uh, standard ice cream sandwich startup screen. Uh, English is UK. If you need to change it, just tap it, select a different language, hit start, time, date. I'll leave that as automatic. Next. Um, make it a Google. Yeah, why not? I'll sign into my Google account. Uh, give me two secs. Let me just type that in. I haven't got it hooked up to the Wi Fi yet because you can see it's using the 3G network up there at the top there on the notification bar. There you go, turn off the location, back up and restore. I just want to get to the um, just want to get to the settings finish, there we go. Okay, so that's that's all loaded on. You've got the various home screens on there. And in this version face unlock is meant to work, battery's meant to be a bit smoother. Also a bit say a bit smoother, uh, better performing, last longer, um, performance of the. That's nice. So whistle as the emails come in. Um, battery performance is meant to be a lot better. The performance of the operating itself is meant to be a lot smoother and faster as well. You can see the ice cream sandwich, um, part of the settings there for the wireless networks. Um, what I'm going to do is just scroll down to the bottom to show you about phone, just so you can have a look at the version numbers. There you go, you can see it's Android version 4.0.3 uh, on the GT i9 100, you can see there. Uh, and you've got the various uh, build numbers there, ICS XX LP2. Um, and that's it, and that's uh, how easily you can install the newly leaked Samsung Galaxy S2 firmware uh, for Samsung Galaxy S2 for the Android 4.0.3. Uh, an ice cream sandwich. Um, it looks pretty much. It looks pretty similar to gingerbread, but with the added functionality, as you can see, with, when you go into the settings, you got the functionality of ice cream sandwich. So um, that's easily how how easily you can install it. Uh, I will put a link in the description and down below where you can download the files from, and the passwords will all be in the description below. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, if you get stuck on anything, um, holler back, put a, a comment or uh, down below. Uh, hit subscribe from the button up top there. Uh, it's free, doesn't cost you anything, and you can stay in ch touch, should I say, as well as check out some of my forthcoming videos. Uh, thanks for watching, and goodbye.